good morning i'm getting ready for a very 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 long day yesterday was quite intense because i um the day before a company was supposed to deliver my passport because i have to do a business trip and it's effectively my first business trip since the pandemic started i think um i needed to get a visa for ireland i eventually applied and everything went well but the company, um, it's a courier company, they're supposed to deliver between 9 and 6 to my office address. And so what they did is that at 5.51, they sent a text saying we just attempted delivery and we will not reattempt it today, uh, so you need to rebook a delivery. Now the thing is, actually they didn't even come. Uh, we even checked security footage. <laughs> no one came anywhere between between five and six so effectively when they realized they wouldn't be able to meet the 6 p.m deadline they simply lied the, it's it's fine i mean I, I i am used to quite a bit of dishonesty um, around and you usually work around it but the problem is i couldn't i didn't have any recourse to 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 fix the situation so not only they lied but when they sent the text saying you have to rebook, the text kept giving a message, uh, an error message. So I wasn't even able to rebook. Uh, their chat was closed and their numbers were all robots about rebooking. But when I tried to do it uh, uh, through the robots, it still would not rebook. And they had one uh, option saying, in uh, uh, like if it's really urgent write an email to urgent that this is dx that called at uk right and we will answer you within a maximum of six hours i did that no answer so the following day i start chatting with them first thing in the morning and i say look here is what happened yesterday i couldn't even rebook and i really need my passport and so the customer service kept saying quite some nonsense and then eventually said you know um, we can't rebook you for today we can rebook you for tomorrow but we don't have an ETA so even if we rebook you for tomorrow we can't guarantee you'll get your passport tomorrow when I'm flying so it was extremely extremely uh, messed up so I said, okay, so I know that you're a courier company, so your job is to deliver. What if you don't even deliver? You still get paid. I'll go and collect my passport from your depot. You don't even need to put it in a van. You just get free money, even if you lied. They said, fine. So I was like, okay, so let's do this. And, uh, and uh, apparently they actually do this quite a lot because uh, because he said yes uh, there is an option to come and collect it even if we're a delivery that, that's effectively me trying to get something shipped by DHL and instead of DHL shipping it I end up going to the DHL depot to get it myself which means they didn't do their job but that's 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 even that's fine so I said okay so I'll do this uh, because I need to get it give me the address and when it will be available and they said okay here is the address uh, but I am still talking to them Okay, fine. I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. 23 minutes later, I asked, uh, I asked, did you actually get a confirmation? And he said, no. The thing is, in the meantime, the depot sent me a confirmation saying, please come collect. We have received that request that you would be collecting. So they weren't talking to each other. And in the meantime, I'm just sat there uh, uh, having to, to see whether I need to cancel my trip. Fine. Eventually I went to the depot, so I took an Uber and went to West London. When I arrived there, there was nobody. I waited for a bit and then when they showed up, they said, ah, oh, sorry, actually it's not this depot. You have to go to another depot in North London. Now to give you a sense of perspective, people typically when they say London, they refer to a bunch of small cities. So North London is not effectively London where that we know, it's actually Wembley. So I said, fine, I got into another Uber, 
this time I traveled to the north. I eventually got my passport and I went back to the office. All in all, that took three hours today, plus whatever time it took me yesterday. And that was just, um, I think that was a bit much because remember I in, a, in previous videos I said how I had problems with Dyson who were doing similar things like lying every week for six weeks I had a, a, a misshipment from Amazon I had a parcel missing from Royal May so like it just it's the fact that people lie it's the dishonesty that's that really really gets to me and I, I think I reached a low point yesterday when I was thinking you know in Morocco at least even if I, 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 there was a bit of dishonesty, it wasn't at that scale and people were competent. Whereas here, I reached the point where I, I just had a general disdain of the overall incompetence combined with really, really uh, continuous dishonesty. So that was a bit, um, a very, very low moment for me. And I was thinking, do I want to stay here? Is this something that I want to actually keep having? And I know it sounds like a, oh, it's just a passport, or they just lied once, or made two mistakes, and the system didn't work, etc. I think it's just the fact that it happened for five or six different things that I was trying to do at the same time. And similarly with doctor appointments and all these kind of things. So that's that's a bit what, um, what threw me off. And especially that I had a very short night, I only had like four or five hours of sleep, so I was very cranky. But yeah, this means that I had to make up for the hours. So I had a very intense day in the afternoon and then at night. And I think I went to sleep a bit stressed out because I woke up super early today and couldn't go back to sleep. And that's when I have built up a lot of anxiety. But anyway, so I'm going to, I'm going to travel tomorrow, very early morning flying from London to Dublin because my client is in Ireland and then I'll go do the meeting during the day and then I will fly back from Dublin to London at night and given the levels of incompetence I have seen I am so worried that I will get to the airport and then something will happen or somebody would not read the document well or not know the policies or whatever so it is very scary for me to to go somewhere um, like that where I'm not sure I'm not sure like when you're at the mercy of somebody who doesn't know how to do their job it's just pretty scary so yeah I'm toying with the idea do I want to go do I not want to go I don't want to 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 be stuck in Dublin I'm, I'm fine being stuck in London but I don't want to be stuck in Dublin so yeah so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm currently having breakfast. So it's again a half bagel with some crushed uh, old avocado and some chilies. Uh, I didn't feel like having an egg because again, because I'm going through all this anxiety, I just don't feel like eating. <clears throat> I didn't have anything to drink this morning because uh, um, a subscriber commented the other day that I have I usually have coffee in the morning um, and so probably it, it, it prevents my vitamins from uh, being properly absorbed so I had my vitamins I'm gonna try to eat this maybe with some water ginger water and then in about an hour or so I'll have my coffee and now I'm just sat here because I realized that over the past few days because it was so intense I didn't get to to actually use my little lamp so I just brought my computer here I'm going to start doing my, my first 30 minutes or so of work on the computer here with the lamp because otherwise I'm never gonna use it. That's the thing. I think like the mornings are so intense that I just go, 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 go. And then by the evening, I'm like, I'm not sure I'm gonna use a, a lamp. So I have prepared my little, I have prepared my little cafetiere. And I will, um, I will actually put it on the on the on the stove um, when I'm ready for my coffee. I also, <clears throat> when I was preparing my coffee, because I usually put lots of different um, things in it, I I was putting cloves in my coffee, and then I realized, oh, I could actually start chewing cloves because something happened in that I um, 
because I was not drinking enough water, my mouth gets dry. I have very dry mouth and skin and everything actually. I'm completely dehydrated. Um, but one of the bad things that happen is that when I have been dehydrated for a few days, I get um, tonsil stones. I don't get them on the side. I get like a pharyngeal uh, tonsil tonsillolith. So it's like at the, uh, at the back of the throat. And usually I know because I always feel like I have a little object stuck and you know, you get halitosis and all that. Um, I'm fine with that because I know what, once I notice, I know what to do about it. So I just have to cough very hard and then I get rid of it. Although it's a bit gross, but yeah. But I, 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 yesterday, I remember I tried to do that and it was very painful. It like, it wouldn't just, it just wouldn't budge. It's a small stone, but I, I, I kind of was very annoyed about it. I eventually got it off, like I had to cough very hard and then I got it off. And then I was thinking, I really need to start paying attention to this stuff because pretty much every doctor I go to, for whatever reason, like the other day I, I, I had to get some uh, a scan uh, and she, I was just talking to the doctor in general and she was like, you don't drink my facialist says you don't drink my um uh, like everybody effectively everybody i meet or who observes me just says you don't drink and i decided that this stops now because yesterday i was very annoyed at having such bad breath and yesterday i had to go to the office um because of the whole passport debacle but also i spent a five hour meeting with my team because we're getting to a very complicated part of the project and I felt that they they started getting you know the deer in headlight look and so I just decided it was worth uh, just sitting down and doing it. I ordered a couple of very large pizzas ordered some cake and we just plowed through it that means that I was talking for five hours hence the voice um, but also I'm, I'm like very very self-conscious about the fact that I was talking for five hours in a small room with bad breath so it stops now I'm going to start drinking right so let me get started now on my um, plan of the day doing my inbox I have promised some people are quite a lot of things a lot of people typically come to me let's say whenever I'm in the office it's not very often that it happens, but whenever I'm in the office, I get so many people who come and just like, oh, Oops, can you do this, can you do that? Um, just because they've been stuck. And honestly, it's not much for me, because I know they would, they would spend a lot of time. For example, one of them said, look, I want to, 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 to prepare a document about how we do PMI, which is post-merger integration. Obviously, nobody in the office does PMI. I'm the expert. Um, I could have him have a go, which he, he gladly did anyway, be, without me telling him. But it's something that's going to take me 30 minutes. So I just need to book 30 minutes of my time, prepare the approach. This is how we do it. These are the different steps. This is the, the, the most important thing. These are the pitfalls, blah, blah, blah. Give it to him and then he can elaborate. So it's, it's, the, it's things like that when you're like, the most efficient thing is for you to... to, to to give the knowledge and then have others and then take that kernel and build on it and add more value but yeah so that's what i'm going to do now um i like to have a good half hour if i'm very lucky an hour in the morning to do that but realistically looking at my calendar yeah realistically i have uh, 40 minutes <laughs> that's still better than half an hour and then it's going to be meeting after meeting after meeting so let's do this so it's about 1.15. I'm about to get started for lunch. I'm going to just have a simple soup because I don't have time to eat. But after all my debacle, um, the client just contacted me to say that somebody from the board tested positive for COVID, which means I'm not going to fly tomorrow. Um, but British Airways no longer refund you for flights. That's a waste. It's also a waste of my three hours yesterday and all the emotional distress. But at least that gives me uh, that gives me back like three or four hours of my day tomorrow that I can actually work 
because it would have been unbelievably crunched i was just moving things in my calendar and honestly i just need to pause and do things this is this is a realization because i was i was thinking about like i'm looking at my calendar and the way it looks it's just scary and i was thinking that i have so many things to do at some point i just need to slow down and i think i have reached the point where i really need to slow down because like yeah i just need to slow down <laughs>